Okay, here's the, this theorem, this change of base formula, and this is the change of base formula in this little uh, cloud here. So if you take a second and write that down, it'd be a great place to start. And then if you don't mind, we'll take uh, two and a half minutes to prove this theorem. And then we're going to start using it in the, in the next video, because this is something that um, should really, really be able to use. So let's give this a try here. So it says here that if we have log base b of u, its equivalent is log base a of u over log base a of b. Now what is important is that u has to be greater than zero and a and b are positive real numbers that are different from one. They are not equal to one. So all those things um, accounted for, we can start doing this little bit of work here. So what we're going to say is this. What we're going to get back to, just I guess to be more clear, we're going to get back, we're coming back to this. But for right now, what I want to do is look at this piece right here and say that, that b to the w, b to the power of w is equal to u. All right? c to the w is equal to u. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the log of both sides. And don't be too freaked out about that. If you take a an equation that's true and you add the same number to both sides of it, it's still true. And if you multiply both sides of it, it's still true. Uh, if you multiply both sides of it by the same number, it's still true. So we're using these algebraic rules of equality. So all we're doing is, is applying this log base A to both sides. So I'm just going to take log base A. Why am I doing that to prove this theorem is true? So here's log base A of both sides. All right. Now, if you remember the rules that we talked about, the rules of logarithms that we did in the last video and we did in class, hopefully you recognize that we can do something with this W right here, can't we? And what we can do with that is we can roll this back. This is the third rule of exponents of um, logarithms, and we can just move that back here. So what that would end up looking like is this. We'd have this W here, log base A b, this is not a to the b, this is log base a of b is equal to log base a of u. Isn't that right? So, <coughs> moving forward. Alright, moving forward here. We're almost done with this proof. It's not that bad. Uh, let's look at this for a second that we can divide both sides, can't we? We're trying to get double, we're trying to prove W, right? We're trying to prove W. I said that we're going to come back to W at the end. Right? We're going to prove W at the end. And that is this W and this W are the same. We're going to try to prove that this is equal to this mess here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to divide both sides by log base A of B. And we're going to divide this side, of course, by log base A of B. Log base A of B is a number. And this is the same number. And a number over itself is 1. So we get W is equal to log base A of U over log base A of B. <clears throat> and if you look at this rule, look, this goes back and proves this, doesn't it? Because we said that here, when we re rewrote this, we said it's log base B of U. So what I want to be able to prove is that log base B of U is equal to this, where W is equal to this, isn't it? So I can take out this piece here. I can take out this piece right here. Let's see if I can figure it out. Of course, W is definitely equal to W, isn't it? So, log base B of U is equal to that, isn't it? And isn't that what we said in the very beginning, that log base B of U is equal to log base A of U over log base A of B? So, we've gone through that proof. Okay. 
I promise you we are going to be using these things to, to do something with. So hang in there. Keep practicing.